There really is no purpose for this video. <laughs> Just, uh, I'm on the road. And I went to the local Wally World and got some, some food for the week. And just wanted to show you what I got for a relatively small amount of money. And I I picked up something that I was kind of interested in to see what it tasted like and do a review on that for you. So here's here's what I got. Um, of course, the water's mine. But I got some... Uh, these are like wheat thins. And they're, they're pretty good. They're actually... Good quite tasty. I bought them uh, to eat with, uh, with this is what I found here that I'm going to try out tonight. Some corned beef, some Hormel corned beef. And um, see if you can see that. Product of Brazil. So I don't know if they, they can it in Brazil or uh, the, the meat comes from Brazil and they can it here in the United States. I, I don't know. Anybody out there knows, uh, leave me a comment. But uh, I'm going to try some of this out tonight. Looks pretty good. Um, but uh, a couple of things uh, I, I already tore into this, but this is a, a banquet meal, and I couldn't believe it. These are 88 cents, so uh, and, and they're they're pretty good. I mean, you can't even buy a couple of hamburgers from McDonald's for 88 cents. So for 88 cents, it's it's a pretty good deal. And uh, let me show you. Uh, I already tore into this one. But this is what they they come in these little black microwave trays and I think you nuke them for like three four minutes but let me show you they, they come in like several flavors you got spaghetti and meatballs um, and lasagna and stuff like that but for 88 cents you can't beat it yeah it's just your your basic frozen dinner and uh, price is right um, these are granola snacks if you buy like Nature Valley or something, they're like three, four bucks, and these are two bucks a box. And I checked the calorie content, and and they're pretty comparable to the uh, Nature Valley stuff. So yeah, for for two bucks, you know, you can try whatever flavor you like. If you don't like it, give it to your kids or or donate them or something. Uh, next is uh, I like this stuff. This is the uh, the Walmart brand, obviously, Trail Mix, and there's a there are a lot of it's the Cajun mix, and this, I'll check the calorie content, uh, they're all uh, run about uh, five bucks, five bucks a bag, and there's there's different brands, but you gotta watch it because some of them, the, the calorie content is less, but this, I think, is the most calorie for the buck, but it, that's if you like the Cajun trail mix, I do. Um, there uh, surprisingly a lot of peanuts and stuff like that in there, which is uh, the high, do high dollar stuff in these uh, trail mixes. Uh, of course, I got these uh, Snyder's. I like these. They come in different flavors. Three bucks for this bag. Not too bad. And then the soda, or as they say in the Midwest, the pop. And um, I like Dyke Mountain Dew. It was uh, three sixty-eight. Not bad. But if you went to a convenience store or something like that, one of these would be like a dollar ninety-eight. Uh, so it's going to be like six bucks for the whole thing. Where I got it for you know, half that. So not too bad, and I got out of the store with all that stuff for less than 25 bucks. So not too bad, all that stuff for for less than 25 bucks. So anyway, let's. Uh, I'm gonna open this can of Hormel and do a little review on that. And um, you know, I'm not a big prepper or anything, but. If it turns out to be pretty good, I, I might add it to my emergency rations uh, for when we have a hurricane where I live. I don't know if I'm supposed to peel it or what, but anyway. All right. So uh, it's kind of funky where uh, you cut it kind of in the middle of the can versus like a spam can. You you peel the top, so I don't. That's kind of cool. So it's just this big loaf here. Smells kind of like spam. No, it's not. It's not obnoxious. It's not. Uh, not like a dog food type smell. If you if you guys ever open a, a can of dog food or something, it doesn't smell like that. It, it smells like spam. So I'm gonna eat it with some crackers here. 
and I'm going to cut it with my uh, Mercator. I don't know if you guys ever... heard of a Mercator. This is a, a friend of mine gave me this. And it's, it's a pretty cool knife. It's a real neat knife. Uh, it's got a thin blade, carbon. It is a carbon steel, so it does rust. So you have to keep it oiled up or something with some vegetable oil. And it's nice and thin. And uh, the nice and and bad thing about it is that because it's so thin, I've I've lost it in my pocket a couple of times, where I've like padded my pocket to see where the knife was, and it's so thin that it gets lost in your pocket. So anyway, yeah, it needs to be sharpened. Uh, it's kind of like a hash type consistency. Or, or, you know, like a, like an underwood uh, deviled, deviled ham or something like that. Hmm, not too bad. I mean, taste a little bit of fattiness to it. Uh, it's not salty. It's got a, a touch of salt to it, but it's not overly salty. Kind of like uh, to me. Spam, straight out spam is, is kind of salty, but let's see what it tastes like on a on a cracker. Not bad. Um, I think I paid four dollars and thirty eight cents, and I ripped off the the uh, weight of it, but. Uh, it is, what's the weight on this thing? Well, the serving size is 56 grams. It, the thing is 12 ounces. This thing weighs 12 ounces and it's $4.38. So um, you can probably make a, a day's meal out of it. Let's see, one, I took the nutritional information off of it. Uh, one serving is 59 grams, or 56 grams, and it's 120 calories per serving. And there's six servings per container. So, uh, I don't know about you, but uh, that's, uh, you know, I, I can probably eat, if I was hungry, I could probably eat half of this in a sitting. So, uh, yeah, not too bad. Uh, I, I would buy it again, but uh, I don't know. To me, five bucks, four dollars and thirty-eight cents seems a little bit high. I can probably get uh, the same amount of protein or something out of, uh, say, a can of chili or something uh, that's a little less expensive. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd, I would add it to your repertoire of prepping if that's your thing, and uh, you know, just kind of keep it, uh, uh, get something different, some variety in, into your into your stores. Uh, again, I don't know how long you can store it or anything like that. I, I wouldn't imagine. Um, there's no use by date that I can see. Um, it is made in... Oh, yeah, it is made in Brazil. Here, let me... Let me see that. Here it says, uh, apparently it is made in Brazil. It says production date. Uh, whatever that means best before August 2016 so um, it's 2011 so you got five years on this stuff so yeah for for the price it might be worth um, getting one of these uh, for the longevity uh, Hormel's a good product and uh, it, it doesn't taste too bad uh, it, it's not obnoxious and, and it doesn't have like a dog food smell to it so I, I recommend it that's all I got see you later well I've eaten about that top hunk of it and um, one thing I did notice that it is a little dry so if you're gonna eat it um, either put it in something else or if you're just gonna eat it with in a sandwich or something make sure you get some uh, I, know, I got some ketchup here but make sure you get some mayonnaise or ketchup or mustard or something it, it is it, it, it is a little dry so enjoy